team, we got some big old beef ribs going on our Ninja Wood Fire Grill today. We're gonna smoke them low and slow and they're gonna be amazing. You gotta stick around for this one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Guys, I'm excited for this one. We got a four bone rack of beef ribs, big old beef short ribs, and we're gonna get them on that Ninja Wood Fire Grill. We're gonna smoke them low and slow. It's gonna turn out amazing. All right, just, just trust me on that, because I know, all right? <laughs> so y'all, uh, the first thing we gotta do is kinda get you to this point. So this is a four bone rack of beef chuck ribs, okay? Now, this one, I had to do a little surgery on, all right, a little, I, I had to chop it up quite a bit. And there was a huge fat cap on top uh, with a bunch of silver skin underneath. And then there was a nice big slice cut into it. Like the butcher just went buck wild on this one. So it just is what it is. So I. I hacked at it, all right? I actually brought out two knives. I had my normal fillet knife. I had to bust into that thin uh, fish boning uh, fillet knife. I really needed to get in there and get that silver skin off. It took me a bit. Like I said, there's a big cut going through it and a big old stretch of fat going on it too. So I just kind of carved out a lot of that heavy duty thick fat that just is not gonna render very well. Carved a lot of that out got all the silver skin I could off without, you know, going too crazy on it. And so this is what we were left with. It looks good. We got we got a lot of meat on there still. You know, we're going we're gonna to eat, don't worry. But I did have to do some work on this one. In essence, you don't need to take all that stuff off on the top if you don't want to. But I like to expose the, the beef, the meat on there. So it really gets a lot of that barbecue rub on there and, you know, build that bark that you want on these ribs, okay? So it's totally up to you if you wanna take the time to rip that all off on top, but that's what I did. Next up, we put a little barbecue seasoning on there with just a little salt, pepper, garlic on this one. I use uh, SPG from Suckle Busters. Uh, I'll put a link to their site down below if you wanna check it out. With a cook like this, I'm kinda staying away from the sugar, sugary kind of rubs on there where it has a bunch of flavors on there. Salt, pepper, garlic is all you need for these beef ribs, okay? Again, you do you. If you have a barbecue rub that you love, knock yourself out, but we're going simple with these with salt, pepper, garlic. So we gave these a little bit of time to sweat, uh, you know, kind of absorb some of that flavor, about an hour or so, just at room temperature, just, just to kind of let those flavors get sucked into those beef ribs. Now they're just chilling, we're ready to get going. I went ahead and stuck my temp spike uh, Bluetooth thermometer in there. Use an app on it, it's really easy. I'll put a link down below for it. And then we're also going to be checking the temperature uh, and tenderness using my lightning instant read thermometer. When we use that instant read thermometer and it starts going in like butter, then we'll know that our ribs are done, okay? We're gonna shoot to take these ribs up to about 205 to 210 internal in the thickest part. That'll make them so they're nice and tender. When we hit those temperatures, We'll go ahead and pull those ribs off, wrap them in foil, just let them rest, let those juices redistribute, let everything kind of calm down in there. We'll just let them rest for about an hour, okay? We're gonna do 250 as our internal temperature. Got just some regular uh, competition pellets in there. Gonna hit it with the smoke through the ignition sequence. So it's gonna get that heavy duty white smoke, but I want some heavy duty smoke flavor on these ribs, okay? So I think I've got everything we need to do. Ready to go, hope you're with me so far. Real quick, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. But I think we're ready to roll, all right? Come on down to my Ninja Wood Fire Grill workbench. <laughs> Let's get started. Let me get our big old rack of ribs on. Push that Tim Spike in there so it shuts a little bit better. Right, rack of rib is on. Let's shut this down, turn it to the smoker setting. We got it on 250 and we don't worry about the time. In fact, I'm gonna actually set it for six hours. Not that I think it's gonna take six hours, but I'd rather just have it rolling the whole way through. So we hit start, let it go through the ignition process. All right, we got our ribs on, it's going through the process. Normally with like brisket, pulled pork, my pork ribs, all that, we'll wrap those at some point. But with these short ribs, I do not wrap these ribs, okay? 
We let the, the heat and smoke just take over the whole time. We'll come out and spritz them with a little bit of water just to make sure, you know, any parts that are kind of drying up, you know, we keep moist, but we're just cooking it all open all the way through, no wrap, no braise, nothing like that, okay? These beef ribs, these beef short ribs are the only ones that I really kind of make that exception for where we're just hitting them with the heat and we're not doing any kind of wrap, okay? Keep an eye on these. We've got our temp spike in. We'll watch those internal temperatures. We're good to go, all right? It's gonna be hours, but for you, it'll be a second, all right? Come on back. Right, team, we're an hour in. Looking good, looking moist. Not gonna need the spritz just yet, but we're coming along real nice. It's temping out on uh, about 125 with our little temp spike. But it's looking good so right, far. We're at three hours. We're temping out at about 180, give or take. Take a look at the temperatures with our lightning. Outside edges are going to be a little bit more done than the other. 174, 180. We're doing good. It's still, I mean, this is giving a lot right there. This is where the fat cap is at. But if you come over to like the more meteor side, you still got a ways to go. Still kind of a little hard to get in there. So we've got another probably a couple hours. Obviously this side's a little more done. So where all the fat was, but this side right here is what we're working on right here. And it looks like we're staying plenty moist in there. I haven't had the spritz yet. The bark is setting up real nice. Dig it, looking good. Got some good pullback on the bones on the back here too. Three and a half hours in, looking dang good. Let's do a little temp check on them. And I remember this side was probing nice, a little tender, over 200, so we're almost done. This side still has a little ways to go. It's still a little tough right there. So we're gonna give it another hour or so, but this should be about a four and a half hour cook. Still a little resistance on this side, but we're getting there. It's coming up real nice. All right, team, we're five hours in. Our Tim spike is showing 205, 206. Take our lightning and check some uh, tenderness and temperature. Yep, 208. Look how easy it's going in. Going in like butter, baby. All right, 210, just where we want to be. We're going to take this off the grill and wrap it in some foil. I have my line glove on. Don't do this unless you have some kind of heat protection. All right. Get it on there. Wrap it up, we'll see you in a little bit. Back inside, we've let this, uh, we let this rack of beef ribs rest, covered in tin foil, let it chill out for a bit. We did about, I think it was about 45 minutes, okay? Ready to chop them up, we're gonna get them on this cutting board. They smell amazing, they look amazing. You know they're gonna taste amazing, all right? So come on down here, let's, let's take a look at them, let's slice into them, we'll see the goodness, all right? Come on Got down here. Got our lovely rack of ribs right here. Let's go ahead and slice into them. Got our doll strong pit master knife. Slice right in. Uh, looking good as a mug right there. Tender, looking juicy, luscious. Dig it, let's slice the rest of them up. One's falling off the bone right there. Yeah, let's turn it up like that. Last bone, falling apart, baby. That rendered, nice little bit of bark. Dig it, baby. Now when I was slicing it up, a couple little bits fell off. I was gonna take a bite of those, you know, for our little taste test, but we got this big beefy thing and I'm a big beefy kind of guy. So let's take a bite, huh? Cheers, y'all. <laughs> So tender, just went right through it. Mm. Mm -mm. That was definitely towel worthy. Guys, so dang good. Mm. Got that smoke, got the flavors of the salt, pepper, garlic, right? Nice bark on there, very perfect bark. Any better bark, you'd have to put a collar on it. It was so dang good, all right? But perfection is attainable, all right? This is freaking this is good. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? If you guys want to get yourself one of those wood fire grills, hit the link down below to Ninja Kitchen. It is an affiliate link, right? But there's a code that you can get $40 off. So might as well hook it up. And it helps out your boy. And you don't pay anything extra. Cool? That Thermapro Lightning, you know, check it out. Instant read thermometer, right? This will have a link down below. Grab yourself one. And then there will be a link for the temp spike too. All right, so check them out. Good stuff. 
can't go wrong with having a good meat thermometer while you're doing your cooks. Uh, knives, merch, cutting boards, all that jazz. All that stuff is down below. Cool. If you guys want to become part of CJ's crew for real here, be a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling on the screen right now. People that got to eat their beef ribs with two hands. All right. Well, that works. Hit that join button right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit right now. Other than that, guys, we're done. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.